Happy Friday, everybody. It's your pal, it's your amigo, it's your compadre, John to the air horn. Reap. No air horn. I lost it on a camping trip. I don't even think we need it anymore. But maybe I'll get a new one in here. Time will tell. Anyway, you're listening to another awesome, amazing episode of the Fried Pod. Don't eat Tide Pods. Listen to the Fried Pod. And wow, as you got, first of all, let me thank you. Uh, we've been growing uh, ever since I've been on YouTube. Lots of people watching, lots of people listening, lots of people writing in. I love that. You guys are sending me emails at johnreap at gmail.com. And from time to time, I will read them on air the way that you wrote them. And I'm not trying to make fun of you, but some people don't watch for typos. And so it's going to sound like I messed up anyway because I can't talk, so you're fine. But uh, send them in. If they're funny, if they're interesting, or at random, I will pick them. Also, don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. That's four things. I know that sounds like a lot. Rate. You know, you can give us a rating on iTunes, SoundCloud. Um, I guess that's like a thumbs up on a YouTube or a heart or something. That's a rating. Review. Pretty good sound effect. That's me typing. A review. You know what I said? I said, I love the fried pod. You could do that. On YouTube, uh, maybe on iTunes too. You can leave reviews. Uh, rate, review. Subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps us. And don't forget to hit, hit the uh, notification bell. That way you never miss a new thing that comes out on my YouTube channel. And lastly, share. Sharing is caring. That helps us a lot. I'm kind of a grassroots guy. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how I grow. I'm like kudzu. And for this to work, I need you to water the kudzu. That's me, your pal, John Reap. Well, what else can I tell you? Um, from time to time, I also do stand-up comedy. Um, I've been in town quite a while doing these uh, in-studio fried pods, but from time to time, I have to leave the studio in good old Hickory and get out there in the rest of the country and make some cash. So, that being said, um, this is sort of a generic open. <laughs> and I don't know what, I don't know what this episode is going to be yet, but I guarantee you it's going to be great or your money back. So why don't you just sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of the Fried Pod. All right, look at this. Here I am in Los Angeles, Hollywood to be specific, sitting here with, well, the owner of the place I'm sitting in right now, Mr. Josh Nasser, everybody. <sighs> and um, should we tell them what we're doing with our idea for this episode? Our well, this is a smash cast. Smash cast. <laughs> yes. Uh, mine is uh, called Get Ready with Josh Nasser, where I interview doctors, lawyers, celebrities, Famous comedians, successful comedians, amazing comedians. Oh, geez. And I find out what they do on a macro and a micro level to get ready for success, whether it's when you do Last Comic Standing, when you shoot a special, when you do Late Night, right. um, when you're doing hours. Like, what do you do exactly? Because um, some people eat, some people drink, some people don't talk to people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm finding the through line of what all successful people do. And what we don't realize, you're literally in the top 1% of your profession. If you think about it. Yeah. There's not many headlining yeah. touring comedians in the whole country. It, yeah. I mean, a thousand that, that work right. consistently wherever uh, you go. Uh, true. You know, I'm still featuring. I'm yeah. not. So I want to talk and I, that's, I like to find, I'm like, what do you do? Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Like I can understand if you live in LA or New York and you right. go, Oh, I want to get into TV. Right. Like what made you go? Oh, that's, you know, uh, I didn't know if it would be, uh, if it would work out. Did you know what it was though? Like I didn't have any concept of what it was. I just saw the TV. I'm like, Oh, I want yeah. to do that. Well, I knew that um, my dad, we loved watching, you know, uh, comedies on television. And it's going to sound weird, but one of the first ones that we all watched together and, and loved a lot was Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. Bill Cosby himself, before all the raping and the drugging. Yeah, no, uh, actually, it was, it was actually during it, but we, yeah, that's right. but we didn't even know. No, no, that's right. Before you he know? got busted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but so I, you know, I was like, well, that's what my dad likes. That's what, so I'm going to do something like that. I want to, you know, I want to be, I was good at being funny. I didn't know how to make it into a job. And I liked television. I liked Jerry Lewis, uh, black and white Dean Martin movies. Pretty lady. I like, yes. Um, I liked, uh, you know, cartoons, Little Rascals. And then um, 
Steve Martin. So you just walked in the direction of it. I, I was just like, once I got to call, honestly, okay, I'm going to back all the way up then. Yeah. How far back do you want to go? I like to go back to when the first inclination, when you yeah. go, ooh, I want to do that. You know, like, ooh, I like, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think when I, the first laugh I got where I felt like, ooh, this is good. I want this to happen all the time was probably around the third grade. Um, I had a, a teacher named Miss Hampton and um, I forgot exactly what it was. I think she said something like, John, you better, you better, uh, you better be on your P's and Q's. All right. And I just took a piece of paper out and wrote the letter P. And Q, and then I sat on it in front of the class, and they just all started laughing. And and then she was like, "Okay, well, no one's done that. Give me that. Just behave, you know." But I remember going like, "Oh man, I got her," and then and they all liked it. I want to do that again. What am I going to do next time? And you were self-aware enough. See, I feel like I, and this is crazy. I feel like I woke up at forty years old. Oh yeah. Like you were self-aware enough to go. I did that. Then that got me that laugh, and I want to do that again. Yeah, yeah. It was just it was sort of instant. Um, but I didn't think of it as a career, though. No, no, no. But yeah. you just knew that that turns into that, so I'm going to do right. that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you when you feed a rat, and he'll he'll yeah. hit the triggers. <laughs> yeah. I had a gig in uh, somewhere like in Bemidji, Minnesota, or Fargo, North Dakota, and then the next night I had to be on stage in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I couldn't afford a flight. Uh, I knew I was driving. And I, I looked at the map before GPS. I opened up a map. I'm like, I think I might be able to pull this off. And so I was done with my set in, uh, let's just say, North Dakota. Thank you. Good night. I, I said, hey, can I get paid before the show? Because I'm really going to finish my set and walk off the stage and get in my car and start driving. And they're like, yeah, sure, whatever. So thank you. Good night. I walk out the door. I literally get in my car and drive. It's ready to go. I go all the way to South Carolina, and I pull in with, a, with about an hour to spare. No time to go to the hotel. No. I went straight to the venue, you know, driving all night. My, my face was white. My eyes were red. And then the comedian looked at me, and he had known me before. I used to dance a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to be known as the Hickory Dance Machine. I used really? to come out dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, Josh. I used to come out making fun of dancing by dancing. I've done uh, that. I used to come out dancing. <laughs> It's fun. I used to come out high energy, <laughs> yeah. dancing. Come on, everybody. I mean. I can see you. Well, if you've got uh, the cheerleader blood in you, that's the thing. It was so bad. But, <laughs> and now I, I should show you old videos of me doing the dance stuff. Okay, that you need to put up. Okay, I might do that. Or you open your, when you, have you released your spot? Oh, you released it's it? It's out right now, you but should, there's no dancing on it. I would put that in the very beginning. <sighs> you know what I. It's hilarious <laughs> to put, to show them. Yeah. I, I mean, want to show you. I bet. Okay. Just your fans would love to see that. Yeah. I mean, they would be like, are you kidding me? Well, it started off as an accident. Like when I first was featuring at Good Nights, they liked high energy. Anybody to get the show pumped. It's, you know. So I come out to music and I was just, I was just start, one day just started to just go along with the music and people started clapping. And I was like, okay. And then I, I just started doing like a shovel dance. You know, to that song, Can You Dig It? We Can Dig It. Can Y'all Dig It? Yeah. I was doing it like to that song. And then I started thinking, well, that's that's one dance. What other tools can I do? And then I did a rake, and then I did a mop, and then and then it went. Then it got really advanced. My favorite one, I, I made up like six of these things. My favorite one was called uh, "Any Guy in the 1900s Washing Women's Laundry Dance." <laughs> that's very specific. Yes, yes, the washboard. The washboard. Yes, and then he rings it out a little bit. He kind of dries it off, and then he puts it on the clothesline, grabs another one, sniffs it. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's any guy. And yeah. then he puts it on and starts dancing around. And then he gets caught, and he says, get out! So it's a very specific dance, but uh, they had levels. There were, there were little punchlines in there, but I came out to high energy. It was all an accident, but that is something I should put up there. Huh? But I... Well, it, for for people that see you now... Yeah, I'd be like, what the hell that's, was he doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey! Thanks for checking out my podcast. If you want to watch the rest of it, click on that little video right there. I think there's a link down here too. So many options. Either way, I love you. And uh, thanks for subscribing. And uh, bicycle.